Hi guys, I'm back with another video in my low level hunt uh, video series. This time we will talk about blood crabs on Laguna Island. So quick 30 second breakdown, experience is around 5 out of 10, loot is around 8 out of 10, spawn difficulty 1 out of 10, optimization difficulty 3 out of 10, access difficulty 2 out of 10, popularity 6 out of 10. This spot is quite often hunted by higher levels to uh, complete beast cherry and get some profit from the uh, bloody pincers. This can be effectively hunted solo by everyone, and you can probably do it in duo as well. For full team hunt, it's not it's not worth it because there won't be enough monsters. And with other notes, I would just say that profit depends on price of bloody pincers on your server. Uh, so t taking a look at the results, I recommend level 30 plus. Uh, on an EK, you will be getting around 100k per hour at 100%. So I had about 266% at the time of recording the video, and I was getting 267k per hour. And the loot is somewhere between 100 and 250k per hour, depending on your look and price uh, of um, bloody pincers. It will take about 1.5 hours for blood crabs, 2.5 hours for fallback tortoises, and four hours for tortoise at beast sherry. So not too bad. I think this is mostly just a place for blood crabs though. You can get the tortoises much quicker in, uh, on the higher levels. Uh, so requirements are level 30, uh, the Shattered Isles quest line, which allows you to travel to Mariana, and then the bit where you uh, speak to the mermaid to make sure you can travel on the tortoises. Uh, the recommended imbuements, I recommend a one times powerful void, or two times basic void. Personally, I prefer one powerful void. Uh, supplies, you will use up about 50 mana potions per hour, depending again on what void imbuements you have. And the character you will see in the video is a level 36 EK with 96 axe skill with one times powerful void imbuement. He does not have a crit or an axe imbuement. I'm sorry, this, this shouldn't be here. This was an accident. He only has one times powerful void imbuement. And he actually has some weak level loot prey on tortoise, but that doesn't really impact the results at all. Now the root is a little bit confusing to display because of how um, because of how many times you have to go up and down between the levels, uh, what I call levels zero and minus one. So these are actually the two bottom levels of um, of uh, Laguna Islands, but I will refer to them as level zero and level minus one because those are the only two levels we will hunt. So on the video you will see right here, if you can see, this is where you will come in. Okay, this is this this place right here is where you come in, and I will just show you what a normal uh, circle or one one lap would look like. So you would go north all the way up here. Okay, there you would go down. You would come out here at minus one. You would go a little bit to the east. You would momentarily go a little bit up to level back to level zero, which is here. Again, you would go immediately down and again come out at minus one here. You would go slightly east and north. You would go up. At this point, you would come out at this place right here. You would go south, east and south. Again, going down to minus one, coming out here. You would then go southwest up to here. At this point, you would go up a level again, coming out uh, here on zero. Here, you would go east, south and then a little bit west at the end. And again, you would go down. Uh, you would come out here, and here is the only bit where later on you will backtrack, but anyway, at this point you will go south. You will go up a little bit here, uh, just to kill a pull up, up, which would be this one on level zero. You would then go back down and go a little bit north and east, up to here. You would go up a level, coming out here. You would then go north, killing things here, and going down again to minus one, which would be here. Uh, you would come out here, <laughs> go a little bit east, go a little bit north, go up a level, That that's uh, right here, again kill the pull there, then go again back to minus one and you would basically backtrack here. So you would go back here south and west, you would go up a level, you'd come out here, then basically go back uh, southwest here, go to minus one, which would be back here, and you would complete the lap by going here, here, all the way all the way here to the end, you would go up a level, and at this point you come out here, where you basically started the lap. So this is the whole lap. Uh, on a low level EK, this lap takes quite a while, but if you're, a, for example, a, you know, a mid-level mage or whatever with a great fireball, uh, great, great fireball runes, this lap will be a lot quicker. Uh, so this is 
what I believe the best and most efficient way to hunt blood crabs overall at any level. So this is a hunting guide for low level, but if you're a high level looking to farm bloody pincers and be and do beef cherry, this is also the path you would follow, okay? So uh, I'm now going to show you the video from the EK. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see. Thank you.